championship action to get into and update everyone on the North Lincoln uh, 2A championship series. I'll be heading out to that shortly. Um, in football land, real quick, uh, Jerry McCoy was released by the Bucks, uh, defensive tackle this week. They replaced him with uh, Indomitian Sue, but the news that's relevant around here with that is that he has interviewed with the Ravens. Um, they said their interview with him, McCoy's quote on the interview with him, it went A++++. plus 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 plus. But he's supposed to have the interview with the Panthers and the Browns uh, as well. Well, I think he's had one with the Browns. Right, right, right. He, he came away with the Browns and uh, Ravens with no contract, and he was meeting with the uh, Panthers yesterday. So, also the Panthers, uh, in a move, uh, Toy Smith, who got a $5 million contract for this last year, they he agreed to make it three million, freeing up a little bit of money. Now I don't know that yeah, means, one million dollars. I mean that two million is going to make a lot of difference as far as signing McCoy, but it makes you wonder. I, I mean, I thought they would end up cutting Toy Smith, and they may steal. Oh yeah, I thought yeah, he was getting cut. But anyway. but I mean, he's a good guy and everything. But on the field, his career's over. You well, know. speedsters get to a point where the young guys are just as once you yeah. lose that step in your thirty. You know, you can pay a young guy way cheaper to to miss passes that hit your hands down. But he <laughs> McCoy has said he would he wanted to play with somebody that could be a Super Bowl contender. Right. Of course, he wants he wants money. He wants to get paid what he thinks he's worth. So they don't have to pay him. Why is he looking at those three teams? Then? I mean, <laughs> I mean, they cut him because he had thirteen million right. left to pay this, and he also had two more years on his contract. So he's looking probably to get twelve or thirteen million uh, per year. I mean, that's what he's probably looking for. You know, I, I can see the Rams if he's going to win a Super Bowl. I, I don't know why he'd be looking at Baltimore, Cleveland, or Carolina right now at that situation. In any of those situations, you know, Cleveland's on the rise, and maybe Baltimore, and 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 Carolina's all depending on you know Cam's health right now. And the yeah. def- and it's always the defense because when the defense is good, they have a good season. When they're not, they don't. So you also got to think. Well, is Keekley's health? That's one. I, I, yeah, if that goes down, your defense is going to change, and 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 he's got your middle linebacker's got concussion problems, and I, that that one's. But if they can afford, to, if they can afford to bring him in, I'm all for it. I mean, he can still play. Right, right, right. Yeah, I, I would definitely. Yeah, for a Panthers fan, you bring yeah. bring all the talent you can yeah. bring. You, you need all the defensive the talent you can. You know, I think if McCoy is going to choose the Panthers, it, it, I think it's going to be about money. Maybe that's why that's because. You do have questions with Cam, unless he's 100% sold, because he's played him twice a year. So McCoy's either I'm sold on Cam, or I'm not sold on Cam. You don't. But he say he likes Cam. Here's the other thing: any revenge in there that being the right? The that's Panthers. another thing. We'll, we'll, we'll play him twice a year. I don't know. You I'm know, sure but. his agent's like, you know, we probably can't say that. You know, and I'm sure all agents are like. You know, you probably shouldn't take the revenge yeah. into the into okay. the factor, um, but we'll, we'll we'll see. It's interesting um, that he they would come away saying we had an A plus 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 meeting and not be able to sign him with the contract. So then, is that the then it is the money thing maybe? So I, that's I, what I'm thinking. It, it has to be. I, I'm thinking he it is was the, cut because of it's money. more the money yeah. than than the Super Bowl. What I'm right. looking at. So you out of a weird situation with that. We'll we'll see how that uh, sets up this week. Um, you know, if it does. If, let's say the Panthers do sign him. Would that have changed their draft strategy in the first round? Was getting drafted the defensive end, and you got McCoy. I know it's a different position, but D line helps. D line help. Would you maybe look at something else there in the first round instead? I don't know. It's kind of because free agency season always gets weird when they start cutting these stars yeah. after the draft. Well, they needed they need a, needed help with the pass rush. So right. the, the more talent they can bring in on that defensive line, I, I'm for. No, Terry, that's wrong too. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just trying to figure in your head. It ain't my head. That's what I figured. It's just a fact. <laughs> well, I figured if it took that one out, then it took that one. Oh uh, yeah, that's a good thought. It really is. Mm-hmm. If it took that, yeah, it's a, Terry you did some good. You know, I'm trying to overthink the question. Well, now. actually, what you did there, whether you know it or not, was algebra. Uh, you, you took one out, replaced it with another, looked for the value in that one in the same spot. So, kids every day. Uh, Ken, if anybody ever says I never needed algebra, and you know, you maybe you could make the argument on calculus, maybe. But if you say algebra or geometry, first of all, everything in this world is geometry. Second of all, every time you go to the value meal, you're doing what? Algebra. Yeah. I got a ten dollar bill. How many burgers and fries and drinks oh, can I buy? That's yeah, that's, that's, that's algebra, kids. Terry, yeah. isn't it? 
<laughs> and, true. And, and, and as, as a math major, I can appreciate that. You like that one? <laughs> I like that. The kids, no matter what, you do algebra every time you go to the value <laughs> menu or, the, or the, the, in the drive through That's the best, the best one to, to get them to pay attention. Uh, the, speaking of which, so a lot of kids uh, ended up this week and next week here. Uh, we'll have graduation ceremonies uh, coming up. We've got, um, you know, from every grade. Uh, my son and them had, uh, you know, the, the, their little fun time there in, in first grade. He's moving to second. Uh, my wife teaches third, and uh, so I got my son out. But, you know, he got out a little bit earlier there. They did on one of the days, and, and my wife was having a clean-up pizza party day. So that's the day we decided to show up to see the class, Terry. And, well, it's funny. While my wife went out of the room to get ice and stuff, you know, I, I like talking to the class. And stuff. There, there's some fun kids. And so I got up on the board, and we did, what all did you learn this year? We went through the class and every uh, kid named something that they learned. They did a great job. They they were naming all the things that that, that they did. I think I'm trying to remember the one thing she was said. She was disappointed and nobody said. Um, you know, one of them. So she, she they got a joke with the you know how teachers were like, well I'm gonna show you some stuff you're gonna do in fourth grade. You know the grade ahead. So they call it secret fourth grade stuff. That was one of the kids. He goes, I'm not supposed to tell you this, but she teaches us secret fourth grade stuff sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> <That's all right. laughs> that was that yeah. was a good one. And then one one just said stuff, just yeah. stuff, yeah, Terry. So stuff. we wrote that up on the board. Lots I meant to take, stuff. I meant to take a picture of the board. I think she did. Uh, I was going to read those off. It was, it was funny. Some of the ones that, that the kids went through, and they had a good time though. And, uh, so Don't you love kids like that when you say, "Well, what you do today?" Okay. <laughs> What'd you learn today? Mine don't say nothing. Mm -hmm. okay. When I asked mine, Terry, his first question is, well, at lunch we had this. I'm like, I packed your lunch. I know what you did for I know what you ate for lunch. <laughs> yeah. And then he tells, then he tells me about uh, whatever uh, play time or whatever exercise time is called in the schools now. And then, and then he the tells fun me, stuff. Yeah. Then he tells me about art. And then we finally get to everything. Well, they start off in PE. Yeah. We, that's what he says. Yeah. yeah. Fun yeah. stuff. In PE, we did this, and this kid did this, and he pushed me and called me this. And that's how it went from. Well, it is. It's great when you come to the end of the year to ask kids, what have you learned this year? I tell you, yeah. and, I, and, you know, we didn't think about this growing up, you know, or I didn't, you know, I don't know about y'all, but a lot of kids with allergies now. So I, I brought them a bunch of brownies one day earlier in the year, and and it had peanuts in it. I didn't think about it at all, mm -hmm. and some of the kids couldn't have them. So this time I brought them some. Uh, the, the three kids I promised them all year, all year I'm gonna bring you guys some something extra and, and something fun. And I brought those kids cotton candy uh, bags of cotton candy on top of that, and and one kid didn't even want that. He was just ah, I just don't want it. He's I'll give it to another kid. So one kid switched his ice cream for the cotton candy. So he got two ice creams instead of All right. instead of the cotton. See, whatever, what, whatever made happy. He was he was a really nice kid. Gave me a hug and and, and thanked me and and uh, they had picked our, uh, picked on my son the whole year. He comes in there before before he goes to his classes and everything, and he makes a mess with the Legos and they got to clean them up when he comes in. So they know him well. All right, uh, trivia question: Would you got a winner in there, JP? Uh, he got two out of three. Two out of four. So he's going to call back. Two, two out of four. You got two. Two out of four. We need three out of four. Terry still hasn't nailed down all four. He's still trying to figure it out. He, he's having a hard time. Hmm. A really hard time. So the question is, since Michael Jordan retired, in every finals, one of these four players, <laughs> one of four players, I'm not going to say the names yet, one of four players have made the, the NBA finals. We need one of these four players. So you, if you go back to 2002 through now, one of these four players will have played in the finals. I only need three of the four for you to win the tickets. I've had someone call and guess two. I've had call and guess zero. Terry's writing down his no. NFM. No, that's not I right. I knew that. That's right. I just, <coughs> why not take a guess? You misspelled his last name, too. So there you, go. <laughs> you know who I'm talking about. <laughs> you know exactly who I'm talking about. You might have had a better chance of misspelling his first name or spelling his first name. You just wish you could have put that. Uh, <laughs> Did there. This other one's a Hall of Famer, y'all. Yeah. He's a Hall of Famer. You don't know. Is. There's All four of them are Hall of Famers. Yeah. I'll say that. This I'll, nice I'll give you a hint. Up. All four of them will, will be Hall of Famers. Uh, but, all right, JP, we got to take another break. And uh, when we come back, we're going to finish up. Ken, we're going to stop the show day at 930, folks. We've got to uh, finish up with a little baseball action. And talk about some high school. Uh, well, what happened last night? Ken's yeah. uh, magic trip to baseball through the state. You want to talk about the Royals? No, we need oh. to talk baseball. That your team now is <laughs> heading to the bottom. Yeah, well, <laughs> when, when you can't beat the Braves or Royals, you're not a good baseball <laughs> team. So. 
Uh, we'll be back in a minute on KTCBroadcasting.com. <laughs> 